Hello everyone, my name is Suman Dua and I'm a registered migration agent at Nationwide Migration and Education. We make new videos every week in regards to Australian migration and if you are interested in this topic, you may wish to subscribe to our channel. In this video today, we will be talking about the Job Ready Program. So what is a Job Ready Program? The Job Ready Program, also known as JRP, is for international student graduates who have completed a qualification issued by a registered training organization resulting from study in Australia. The RTO must be registered under the Commonwealth Register of Institutions and Courses for Overseas Students, also known as CRICOS, to deliver the training. JRP applicants must nominate an occupation for which TRA, which is the Trades Recognition Australia, is the relevant assessing authority. This is usually the case for many trade occupations. The JRP is employment-based and provides eligible applicants with the opportunity to demonstrate their skills and ability to work in an Australian workplace before applying for skilled migration in Australia. The employment must be closely aligned to the applicant's nominated occupation and relevant qualification. The JRP is comprised of four steps. The first step is the Job Ready Employment, also known as JRE, then Job Ready Workplace Assessment, JRWA, Job Ready Final Assessment, JRFA. The Job Ready Program Registration and Eligibility, which is JRPRE, is a prerequisite for participation in the JRP. Following completion of the JRP, applicants may use the Skills Assessment Outcome when applying for skilled migration to Australia. Now let's look at the fees from Trades Recognition of Australia. So for the first step, which is the Job Ready Program Registration and Eligibility, the fees is $200. For the second step, which is the Job Ready Employment, the fees is $450. The third step, which is the Job Ready Workplace Assessment, it's $2,540. And for the Job Ready Final Assessment, the fees is $65. Now let's look at the step one, which is the Job Ready Program Registration and Eligibility. The JRPRA registers you in the Job Ready Program, known as JRP, and will review your eligibility for the program by confirming your identity and verifying the authenticity and relevance of your Australian qualification. A successful JRPRE outcome is required before you can apply for Job Ready Employment, also known as JRE. To be eligible for JRPRE, you must have a current passport confirming your identity. You must have held an international student visa as the primary visa holder. Now, this is very important to study in Australia. A qualification relevant to your nominated occupation and awarded by a CRICOS registered RTO resulting from study in Australia. Now, let's look at the step two, which is the job ready employment, also known as JRE. JRE provides the opportunity to develop your skills, ability to work in an Australian workplace prior to undergoing a workplace assessment. You must be suitably employed in your nominated occupation to be eligible for JRE. You must be working with your employer when you submit your JRE application online. To be eligible for JRE and ensure you are well placed to successfully complete the program, you will need to have successfully completed the JRPRE, which is the step one, have employment relevant to your nominated occupation and can be verified. You will need to have four months or less remaining on your student visa. Hold a visa or bridging visa that has full unrestricted work rights and provides sufficient time to complete the requirements of the JRP. So you need a minimum of 12 months on your visa. Make sure your documents and information provided to TRA do not contain false or misleading information. Please note that if you're on a training visa or a student visa with more than four months remaining, you're not eligible for this step. If you have more than one employer or change employers during the program, you must register the employment details through the TRA online portal. You cannot exceed five employers and at least 863 paid work hours must be completed with the one employer. This is to allow you sufficient time to develop and demonstrate your skills in your nominated occupation. You can claim up to three consecutive months of paid employment that was undertaken immediately prior to applying online for JRE. This can only be claimed at the time of submitting your JRE application online. 
To make a claim, you must complete the prior employment section of your GRE online application and provide TRA with acceptable pay evidence for the period being claimed. You must complete at least 1725 hours of paid employment in your nominated occupation over a minimum of 12 calendar months from the GRE start date. Periods of leave, including paid leave, cannot be included in the 1725 hours. If you are in part-time employment or have periods of unemployment or extended leave, it may take you longer than 12 calendar months to complete the required 1725 hours. If you complete 1725 hours in less than 12 calendar months, you will still be required to complete 12 months from your GRE start date to be eligible to apply for your job ready final assessment. You will also need to submit employment verification report, also known as EVR, to Trades Recognition of Australia. An EVR is used to clarify if your employment arrangements provide sufficient opportunity for you to meet the requirements of the program. This includes the ability to do a range of tasks and duties to demonstrate your skills using industry accepted practices and tools, equipment relevant to your nominated occupation. The employer and nominated supervisor listed in your online application must complete and sign the EVR. The EVR must be uploaded in the TRA online portal with your JRE application documents. You will also be required to submit a skills progress report. A skills progress report, also known as SBR, is a self-assessment record of the skills and activities you have undertaken in your workplace. The purpose of the SPR is to confirm you are developing your skills and experience in the workplace using the appropriate tools and equipment and doing the duties expected for your occupation in an Australian workplace. The SPR must be confirmed and signed by your supervisor or employer nominated for the workplace. TRA will email you when your SPR is due. Now let's look at step number three, which is the job ready workplace assessment. The purpose of the JRWA, which is the Job Ready Workplace Assessment, is to determine whether you are operating in the workplace at the required skill level for the occupation nominated in your application. An assessor from a TRA approved RTO will conduct your JRWA and will focus on the activities you have been required to perform during your employment as recorded in your SPR. To be eligible for a GRWA, the following is required. That all of your employment arrangements have been considered by TRA. Acceptable pay evidence has been provided over a minimum of six months from your GRE start date. Acceptable SPRs, EVRs, and any other relevant information confirming you are performing expected tasks and duties and developing the skills required for your nominated occupation. TRA will review your pay evidence and SPRs and advise you by email if you are considered eligible to apply for a GRWA. The assessment will be conducted using a range of methods, which may include a technical interview and observation of your practical skills. Once you have successfully completed step three, you will move on to the final step, which is the job ready final assessment. A successful job ready final assessment outcome can be used to apply to home affairs for an independent skilled migration visa like subclass 189, 190 or 491. To be eligible to apply for a JRFA, you must have all your employment arrangements reviewed by TRA, achieved a successful GRWA outcome, provided TRA with acceptable pay evidence of at least 1725 hours of employment in your nominated occupation, that demonstrates a minimum of 12 months of active employment from your GRE start date. Extended periods of leave or periods of unemployment do not count towards this requirement. TRA will email you when you are eligible to apply for your GRFA. If you are someone who is about to complete your trade qualification in Australia and considering starting a job ready program, please book a consultation through the link below. Stay updated about Australia's immigration. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel.